Republican. I would like to introduce, if I may, a uh, very, very vibrant and distinguished and marvelous lady whose movies I have enjoyed through the years, especially with John Wayne. <laughs> Yvonne DiCarlo. Miss DiCarlo, can I say welcome? Oh, uh, Miss DiCarlo, can't you call her? Yvonne. Yvonne. <laughs> Yvonne. How have you been? I've been pretty well, thank you. Yeah. I'm I, still I, here. I mentioned that some of your movies were, were, were tropical, and now you're playing at the... Uh, at the Tropicana. Yeah, oh, that goes pretty well. Good time. Yeah, we're doing Can Can over there. In, we, uh, we just opened. It's, uh, as you said, vibrant. It is really a vibrant show. <laughs> All the girls with the skirts going ooh-la-la, -la, you know? <laughs> of course, you on the stage is nothing new. I loved you in a show called Follies. Thank you. Uh -huh. I th I, you know, I chatted with Stephen Sondheim one time. He told me that he wrote a song for you. Yeah, that's right. In uh, Follies. I, uh, I'm still here. Right. As a matter of fact, he wrote two. We started off with a, a, t a tune that he wrote, uh, not a tune, but a big, long, complicated sort of a special material number called, Oh Boy, Can That Boy F Fox Trot. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and that's, that was the one joke idea. And then they got rid of that, and they wrote, uh, uh, I'm Still Here. That was a great, they were both good. I loved it. What about, <laughs> what about working with Alexa Smith? That was one of your, oh, when you were on the stage with Alexa Smith, that was uh, I liked, you know, two I, it, good friends. It took me about six, seven months to get to know her, because she was all involved in trying to, you know, the whole thing fell on her shoulders. And after I got to know her, we became girlfriends. And we would call each other, hi, girlfriend, hi, girlfriend. And she's been a great girlfriend of mine ever since. <laughs> Good lady. Yeah. How's Craig Stevens? I don't know. <laughs> I think he's wonderful. They still are just great together, you know. Good couple. Yeah, yeah. Let me introduce Yvonne DiCarlo. First of all, let me make it official. Yvonne DiCarlo is starring in Can Can in Atlantic City. At the, is, is that a, I, I've never at been. At the Tropicana? I've never been out there, so I don't know how There's so many, you know, it's like Las Vegas, I suppose. There, there are all these casinos, and it's all new to me. I've never been to Atlantic City. I've been living on a ranch for a year and a half. You are now a rancher? I am up very close to a Ronald, Sir Ronald Reagan, yes. This is one of the most glamorous movie stars in the history of the world. I mean, <laughs> Yvonne DiCarlo is delightful, and you must take some kidding over the fact that you played an older woman in the Munsters. I Still. played an older, oh yeah, well, like 200 years old. 200 yeah, years old, yeah. right? And had many lives, uh-huh. That, uh, that was known as good security for the rest of your life, so far as residuals go, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, yes, uh-huh. They, they still have those on now. I tell you what it's really good for is the, that you, the young people still still know me, you know. Uh, I mean, you don't just disappear because they see the monsters every day. But they, they don't understand what happened to my hair. <laughs> when they take a look at me, they say, what happened to your hair? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, every part of you is beautiful. Do I have to go around with the silver streak? <laughs> no, just the way you are. Just the way you, you know, are. Joe, it's wonderful to see you again after so many years. Uh, how many years has it been since I saw you? Don't say it. Don't say it. At least two weeks. <laughs> at least two weeks. Mm. Do you, uh, do you uh, enjoy that score in Can Can? I think that, that show, oh, that show yeah. has more hits than, oh. than everything on Broadway now combined. I Love it, Paris. Yeah, I Love Paris. It's all right with it. me. Yeah. It's all right with me. It's all right with me, but then there's one he sings called It's the Wrong Time, It's the Wrong Place, da 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 da, but it's the wrong face. You know that one? Well, I tell you, the one that really gets the, the public is the I Love Paris. They Fabulous. love that song, and it's a, a kind of a thrill every night to, to hear all that. <laughs> my guest is Yvonne DiCarlo. I want you to meet a couple of my friends, Yvonne. Mr. Tim Choate, this young man, is one of the stars. I asked them if they were a rock group, <laughs> but they, they said, no, they're not. <laughs> Tim, what is your uh, feeling? What do you want to ask or say of uh, one of the all-time movies? House movie? by Gable. He's dead. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. That's what he I meant, how was he to work with? Oh, oh, was he, he? he's wonderful. He was absolutely the, one of the most divine people I have ever worked with, and uh, really on the spot, and never late, and always knew his lines. And I once read that he got cranky if people uh, didn't know their lines, that he was... Yes, uh, he was very strict, and if, uh, if you didn't show up on time, he would report you to your agent or whatever. <laughs> he didn't and, like extra takes, right? 
Yeah, and Alec Guinness was marvelous, and uh, Cecil B. DeMille was marvelous. And Cecil B. DeMille, I, you know, I, 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 I have no biography in front of me of, of Yvonne de Carlo, but Cecil B. DeMille, what was one of the big pictures? Uh, the, well, the Ten Commandments. He, he, saw, he saw this yeah. lady's face. He says, I want that lady's face in the Ten Commandments. You're right. You remember that. I know everything about yeah. Cecil B. DeMille. He was right. looking at Nina Foch for, for the Ten Commands, uh, Commandments so that because he needed a, a lady to do the, uh, the princess, the uh, who became later the mother of Moses. And he saw me in the scene in another picture, and he said, that's the face I want for Sephira. And that's how I got that part. <laughs> what was Incredible. the picture? Ten Commandments. That he saw you in. Oh, oh, the picture, sombrero. Sombrero, yes. And that was with Sid Charisse, and uh, you know, it was an MGM picture. And with Yvonne DiCarlo. <laughs> Mr. Dan Logan, noted psychic and photographer, what uh, are your uh, ah, flash well, reactions? Slightly annoyed any flashes? Well, I don't have any flashes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a just a big bit fan of yours. Myself. <laughs> I've seen I saw Folly several times. I'm so glad you're back on the boards because it's, uh, you know. Uh, oh, well, I, um, not too long ago, I did a thing called. Dolly, hello Dolly, Sorry. down at Disneyland. No, no, no. D across the street is a thing called the Gr Grand Hotel. We did uh, hello Dolly for about 13 weeks, and that was kind of fun. That was really fun. I've often wondered where mm -hmm. can that boy Foxtrot came from, because that was in Side that by Side Steven. by Seinheim. You know, yeah. they put it in yeah. that, but it yeah. wasn't in Follies, though, I guess. Well, it was at, in, in Boston, and then they took it out. Yeah. He didn't think it was my type of thing. Yeah. Yvonne, one more fan named mm. James Spiro wants to give you an autographed copy of The Great Sights of New York. And uh, Mr. Spiro, what are your thoughts or comments on meeting Yvonne DiCarlo on TV? I, I just, I have a question about Follies, which I saw, it was about, what, 10 years ago? That, yeah, uh, 72. And I was, I was absolutely bowled over by, I thought, I thought it was spectacular, one of the most imaginative things I've ever seen on Broadway. But the run wasn't... Uh, it was a respectable run, but it wasn't all that long. Do you think if they revived it today, that they would have a, a wider audience, that people I become more sophisticated? No, I've been often wondering that myself. Uh, it why? was ahead of its time. Now, when it went to Schubert Theater, you see, they had just built the theater in Los Angeles, and Los Angeles people are very strange. If uh, <laughs> they really are with theater, they're very strange. They hadn't heard of the Schubert Theater, and they were tacking down the carpet the first night. It was a new theater, yeah, no. so. We didn't get the audience that they get now. So uh, now, if they revived, uh, I mean, if why doesn't Hal Prince revive it if he thought it was a good idea? So I imagine it's maybe it's not a good idea. I don't know. I think it would be far too much money. The the extravagance of the sets and the yeah. costumes, I think, would mm -hmm. be about triple what it was, and I'm sure it was a fortune then. The sets are a little bit like Star Wars, don't yeah. you think? Yeah. I mean, yeah. the, you know, I was surprised one of you weren't <laughs> killed during the run of that because of all. One the... one lady broke her back. She fell off I'm the sure. set and broke. One her of the back. ghosts. Or one uh, of the... one, no, a new lady that took the place of one of the ladies yeah. in the show, and she fell off because uh, it, it moved suddenly and she broke her back. Yvonne, oh. you're... Uh, <laughs> Hello there. You're, How are you? You're, uh, great. How <laughs> Who are, are these people? Yvonne, they're friends of mine. They just dropped into... <laughs> I thought they were a rock group. I really did. <laughs> <laughs> the nose to <laughs> me was your thing. The hubcap. No. The hubcap. So the that's hub wonderful. Caps? Let's hear you sing. Mm. <laughs> they are good. They are good. Yvonne, you're from what state? Originally. State. Uh, no, no, no. Where? Canada. Canada. Yeah. Were you discovered for the movies in any offbeat way, any any unusual setting, the way you were discovered for no, films? No, my uh, mother dragged me down to California. Right. And, uh, <laughs> and that's what happened. You know those mothers like Rose, Gypsy. And <laughs> I was that. mentioning about uh, kids. I was mentioning to Tim that over the weekend somebody played me an old recording of, of a TV show I did with Jackie Cooper. I asked him for an in-depth <laughs> recollection of his early movie days, and he, and he mentioned his first recollection was when he heard a director say, bring in the meat. Yeah? They don't, they don't treat actors like that nowadays. They wouldn't no. dare, right? Good heavens, no. But there might have been a time before our time when, when actors were not respected. Today, of course, they're the, they're the <laughs> symbol. Today, show people are the symbol of glamour and respectability, but there was a time when... Uh, I don't know. Well, we have a union now, too. Right. But uh, he <laughs> might not have had one back when he was... A, Right. Kid. You also can become president of the United States. And yes. You know, that's not uh, Precisely. foreseeable. Precisely. So were there, were, there, were there small parts before the uh, big ones? Were there, uh, you, you took off big right uh, away. Uh, there was a great a number of years of uh, apprenticeship, I call it, at Paramount. And those many years of studying. And I think it all paid off because it was like getting used to that. That. See that? getting used to that. And it's like a monster at first. 
but now to me it's just the most friendliest creature in the world, the camera and I, you know, the, and the close-up. But at first, it scares you. And so we, that's called apprenticeship. Which they don't have anymore. Getting used to the, the camera, yeah, training. Yeah. Was there one moment when you began to feel confident? Was there one moment or one movie or one director or one something when you... No, it comes slowly. Slowly, yeah. It comes slowly. It doesn't come at one moment, yeah. What's but gee, the, it's nice seeing you again. <laughs> we, we could do nine weeks together. I could say you're still here. <laughs> Were you sad that about song. about uh, Ingrid Bergman passing well, away? Well, I just only heard about that. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I felt like I couldn't believe it. You yes. know, she was on my program many years ago on radio. Yeah. On radio, and I've got many recollections. Mm. And one thing that she said that she made this torrid love on the screen with Humphrey Bogart. I mean, fervent love scenes, but they never spoke behind the scenes. Not that they had any fights mm -hmm. or any, mm -hmm. any disagreement, but they just never spoke. And, and you who have co-starred with all the great leading men, I mean, how, uh, I guess uh, that's that the way it is. That, that could happen. That could happen. happen. Oh, yes, of course. Because perhaps you just have somebody else that you're interested in and they have someone else and there's no way that, that you go out to dinner together or anything. But on the screen, you're technically so perfect that you make perfect love on the screen. That's without the socializing back screen. Yes, right. Yeah, there's no... See, there's no connection between the two. It's, it's technical. Fabulous. Yeah. Could be mechanical. <laughs> Could be technical. Tim, what's your feeling on uh, well, doing love scenes with somebody you barely know? It's difficult. It's very difficult. Uh, but... Uh, you, I, I try to get to know them a little bit be first, not, not in the way that we're knowing each other in the scene, but just to, so you can, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a... Mr. Logan? Well, you know, it's interesting because most, the National Choir would love everybody who makes a movie to be living together. Right. And that's, that's what Americans like to hear, so it's kind of sad to hear that that does not happen. Mr. Spiro? Well, one of the tremendous drawbacks of being in publishing is that no torrid love scenes in the office. It's, <laughs> it's, it's only done to secretaries, no one. We'll work it out for him, right, Yvonne? <laughs> Give him a good secretary. So far as uh, leading men, if you had to choose one favorite, Yvonne, you have... Uh, oh, that's a hard question. You know, it really is. It's a toughie. What about Rory Calhoun? <laughs> How about what, a, what about Rory Calhoun? <laughs> what about Rod Cameron? Well, you did a few movies with him. <laughs> what about R Rod Cameron? No, I, I, I would say you can name somebody a lot more exciting than that, can't you? <laughs> John Wayne. How about Yul Brynner? How about Clark Gable? How about uh, um, Alec Guinness? Boy, huh? <laughs> you were a busy lady there. In the yeah. movies, a lot of pictures. Well, I just did a, a picture where my leading man was a Rottweiler. Really? Mm -hmm. it was, it, that's a dog that, that was in uh, The Omen, you know, the devil's oh, dog. Yes. And this dog, uh, have you seen The Omen? I've well, anyway, it. it's the devil's disciple. And this dog is is got a huge chest and short legs and Black. always, <laughs> you know, and it's always uh, the devil. Is, is. So I, anyway, I had this dog kill six people. And then I wanted to kill it because the police were after me. But it killed me. So uh, What's the movie? that was rather interesting. What's the name Play of the movie? Dead. It's not released yet. What is it called? Play Dead. Play Dead. Mm -hmm. But everybody was always nice to you all those years. You were never... Uh, yelled at by any director or berated by any any executive or, or treated contemptuously well, by yes. anybody mm -hmm. ever in Hollywood? Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> uh, no, except for one time when Robert <laughs> C. Odmack... Oh, now we're getting there, right, panel? <laughs> Robert C. Odmack got out of line once, and I yelled back at him and embarrassed him so much that he never yelled at me again, ever. <laughs> That's fabulous. you got to write a book, Yvonne. Uh -huh. I did, and they turned it down because it wasn't smutty enough. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. That's a shame. Uh huh. Well, I'll, I'll try to figure out a few lies like Shelley Winters did. <laughs> <laughs> because your life, has been, your life has been unsmutty and... Uh, it's well, been... it's been, I think, very interesting and very fantastic. Like, uh, you know, for example, going for five years uh, steady with the Prince of Iran, who is the Shah's brother. That, that's pretty interesting. And then three truck drivers in between. <laughs> <laughs> and, the best, and the best is yet to come. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see a marvelous show, go to see Yvonne DiCarlo. She's a busy lady in Can Can. One more time, where at the... Uh 
Oh, the Tropicana in Atlantic City. <laughs> and then Salome, where she danced, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Choate in Crimes of the Heart at the... At the Golden Theater on 45th Street. And he's a dynamic young actor. Go to see him, Yvonne, if you got a chance. Okay. Dan Logan at the festival in Woodstock? Yes, festival. At New, it's in New Paltz, the Woodstock Festival. The right. 3rd through the 6th. And your exhibition is on photography. Right. Right. And uh, if you want to know more about good pictures and good books, Dover Books puts out great ones. This one is called The Great Sights of New York, text by James Spiro. I want to give it to Yvonne. So in between her uh, uh, engagements on the stage and screen and TV, you might want to take Thank a walking you. tour with me. Yes. Oh, These great. words then on with more <laughs> spectacular people as we thank the delightful D. Carlo. Thank you. The best. <laughs> Yvonne DiCarlo, but Cecil B. DeMille, what was one of the big pictures? Uh, the, well, the Ten Commandments. He, he, saw, he saw this yeah. lady's face. He says, I want that lady's face in the Ten Commandments. You're right. You remember that. I know everything about yeah. Cecil B. DeMille. He was right. looking at Nina Foch for, for the Ten Commands, uh, Commandments so that because he needed uh, a lady to do the, uh, the princess, the uh, who became later the mother of Moses. And he saw me in the scene in another picture, and he said, that's the face I want for Sephira. And that's how I got that part. <laughs> what was Incredible. the picture? Ten Commandments. That he saw you in. Oh, oh, the picture, sombrero. Sombrero, yes. And that was with Sid Gerice and uh, you know, it was an MGM picture. And with Yvonne DiCarlo. <laughs> Mr. Dan Logan, noted psychic and photographer. What uh, are your uh, ah, flash well, reactions? Slightly annoyed any flashes? Well, I don't have any flashes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a just a big fan of yours. Myself. <laughs> I've seen I saw Folly several times. I'm so glad you're back on the boards because it's, uh, you know. Uh, oh, well, I um, not too long ago, I did a thing called Dolly. Hello, Dolly. Touring. Down at Disneyland. No, no, no. D across the street is a thing called the Gr Grand Hotel. We did... Uh, Hello, Dolly, for about 13. And that's, that was the one joke idea. And then they got rid of that, and they wrote, uh, uh, I'm still here. That was a great, they were both good. I loved it. What about, <laughs> what about working with Alexis Smith? That was one of your, oh, when you were on the stage with Alexis Smith, that was uh, I liked, you know, two I, it, good friends. It took me about six, seven months to get to know her, because she was all involved in trying to, you know, the whole thing fell on her shoulders. And after I got to know her, we became girlfriends. And we would call each other, hi, girlfriend, hi, girlfriend. And she's been a great girlfriend of mine ever since. <laughs> Good lady. Yeah. How's Craig Stevens? I don't know. <laughs> I think he's wonderful. They, they still are just great together, you know. Good couple. Yeah, yeah. Let me introduce Yvonne DiCarlo. First of all, let me make it official. Yvonne DiCarlo is starring in Can Can in Atlantic City. At the, is, is that a, I, I've never at been. At the Tropicana. I've never been out there, so I don't know how There's it so many, you know, it's like Las Vegas, I suppose. There, there are all these casinos, and it's all new to me. I've never been to Atlantic City. I've been living on a ranch for a year and a half. You are now a rancher? I am up very close to a Ronald, Sir Ronald Reagan, yes. This is one of the most glamorous movie stars in the history of the world. I mean, <laughs> Yvonne DiCarlo is delightful, and you must him. I would like to introduce, if I may, a uh, very, very vibrant and distinguished and marvelous lady whose movies I have enjoyed through the years, especially with John Wayne, <laughs> Yvonne DiCarlo. Miss DiCarlo, can I say welcome? Oh, uh, Miss DiCarlo, can't you call Yvonne. me? Yvonne. Yvonne. <laughs> Yvonne. How have you been? I've been pretty well, thank you. I don't know. I'm I, still I, here. I mentioned that some of your <laughs> movies were, were, were tropical, and now you're playing at the... Uh, at the Tropicana. Yeah, oh, that goes pretty well. Good time. Yeah, we're doing Can Can over there. In, we, uh, we just opened. It's, uh, as you said, vibrant. It is really a vibrant show. <laughs> All the girls with the skirts going ooh la la, you know. <laughs> of course, you on the stage is nothing new. I loved you in a show called Follies. Thank you. Uh -huh. I th I, you know, I chatted with Stephen Sondheim one time. He told me that he wrote a song for you. Yeah, that's right. In uh, Follies. I, uh, I'm still here. Right. As a matter of fact, he wrote two. We started off with a, a, t a tune that he wrote. Uh, not a tune, but a big, long, complicated sort of a special material number called Oh Boy, Can That Boy f Fox Trot. I remember that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's take some kidding over the fact that you played an older woman in the monsters. I played an older, oh yeah, well, like 200 years old. 200 yeah, years old, yeah. right? 
and had many lives. Uh huh. That was uh, that was known as good security for the rest of your life, so far as residuals go, right? <laughs> well, it was. Yes. Uh huh. They they still have those on now. I tell you what, it's really good for is the that you the young people still still know me. You know, uh, I mean, you don't just disappear because they see the monsters every day. But they they don't understand what happened to my hair. <laughs> Your when they take a look at me, they say, what happened to your hair? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, every part of you is beautiful. Do I have to go around with the silver streak? <laughs> no, just the way you are. Just the way you, you know, are. Joe, it's wonderful to see you again after so many years. Uh, how many years has it been since I saw you? Don't say it. Don't say it. At least two weeks. <laughs> at least two weeks. Mm. Do you, uh, do you uh, enjoy that score in Can Can? I think that, that show, oh, that show yeah. has more hits than, oh. than everything on Broadway now combined. I love it, Paris. Yeah, I love Paris. It's all right you with hit me. It. Yeah. It's all right with me. It's all right with me, but then there's one he sings called It's the Wrong Time, It's the Wrong Place, da 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 da, but it's the wrong face. You know that one? Well, I tell you the one that really gets the, the public is the I Love Paris. They Fabulous. love that song. And it's a, a kind of a thrill every night to, to hear all that. <laughs> my guest is Yvonne DiCarlo. I want you to meet a couple of my friends, Yvonne. Mr. Tim Choate, this young man, is one of the I stars. asked them if they were a rock group, <laughs> but they, they said, no, they're not. <laughs> Tim, what is your uh, feeling? What do you want to ask or say of uh, one of the all-time movies? How's Clark Gable? He's dead. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. That's what he I meant, how was he to work he? with? Oh, oh he? He, he's wonderful. He was absolutely one of the most divine people I have ever worked with and uh, really on the spot and never late and always knew his lines and I once read that he got cranky if people uh, didn't know their lines that he was yes he was very strict and if, uh, if you didn't show up on time he would report you to your agent or whatever <laughs> <laughs> he didn't and, like extra takes right <laughs> yeah and Alec Guinness was marvelous and uh, Cecil B. DeMille was marvelous and Cecil B. DeMille I you know I I, I have no biography in front of me of